Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Ancient Jungle Temple. Now, it must be pointed out that the one I have here is actually a demo. There is a paid version of this, but I always like demos in this kind of sense to see what it's like before actually making that plunge. And I think the overall price is, so 533, I think it's about $6. I think, don't quote me on that, but I think that's how the conversion works out. So the quality of this is actually quite nice. Even just the demo, it is very nice. So the scene, just in its basic standard image, like this, without post posting, without anything, looks fairly decent. And the quality of it is very nice as well. I can actually see this being a rather useful asset in, you know, any sort of game, really. Whether it's, you know, a kind of... Maybe a prehistoric, well, I'll say prehistoric, an ancient first-person shooter style game or something like that, or an RPG or whatever. Uh, so yeah, the scene it comes in like this, as I always love those little demo scenes. Just simplistic, it's got everything you would need. You've got your rocks, you've got, you know, the plane, statue, the little building, well, towers as they are. Quite nice. So with some post-processing, um, there, there is no camera on the scene, so that's fine. So if we were to add a camera... Uh, maybe bring it in. Let's have a quick look how it looks with just one of the preset post-processing profiles I have uh, in this project. So if I just quickly add it, see what it looks like. Oops, helps if I actually drag it properly. Uh, let's go in the game view. So yeah, a bit of post-processing makes it look, you know, however you would want it to. So there's different styles you could have. Fair enough. So yeah, the overall quality, I like. I think it's very nice. Uh, usefulness, I would say, yes. It is going to be useful for something like an RPG, something ancient that you're building, um, any sort of game like that. Obviously, well, I suppose you could even go for a survival horror if you wanted to. Uh, it's probably not well suited to some games, uh, but you could probably find a use for this in a multitude of games. And even if you're not building that sort of game, you might be able to find something which is kind of useful one way or another. Even if it's just like this statue here, you just want a little model of it in the game somewhere in your game. I guess that could be useful as well. So, how customizable is it? Well, I always think that as long as you're prepared to, you know, mess around with the textures, play around with some normal maps, that kind of thing, change colors, it's very customizable. And you can obviously change size, you know, let's, I don't know, say the scale on this is, well, play, you know, play around with it. Now it's a big long thing like that. Uh, size wise, quite tall. So yeah, it obviously most assets like this are going to be somewhat customizable. Uh, you can change things within it here, there, and everywhere. So if we were to just quickly change the normal map to uh, grayscale and then apply it, you'd see the change you would see. It looks more grittier. And I always say, I always say that these assets that you get from the asset store, always modify them in your own way to make them your own, rather than just take them as they are. So yeah, it is customizable to that extent. You can always even change this to a, you know, like a bit of a deep blue color. So there's even more customization. So the price obviously is free because this is the demo version. Uh, like I say, the paid version is probably about $6. Size wise, it is 181 megabytes, which isn't huge, isn't small, but you know, it's somewhere in the middle. Just be mindful if you're on a slow connection or you're metered on your connection or anything like that. But yeah, 181 megabytes is fairly decent. Uh, so the folders are laid out quite well. It, they are neat and tidy. They've got all the prefabs you need there. That's It's good enough for me. You know, you can easily build lots of different things just by dragging these prefabs in, placing them how you want to. Obviously, all the textures are in there that you need. Loads of different types, all nice and neatly put together so you know what is what. Uh, in the way of extras, not really many extras to speak of, but you've got the models that you would need in case, you know, maybe you want to reskin them or something. So I wouldn't really class them as extras, but they're always there to have just as something kind of useful, I guess. So overall, it is a, quite a useful little package. Even just the demo version is quite a little package. It's useful for, like I say, pretty much anything. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I like to recommend them or not. And to be honest, if you're a beginner, if you're new to Unity and you just want to play around with some assets, this is a nice asset to play around with. I would recommend it. 
Um, it's a nice asset that you can probably just stick a first person controller in and wander around and just explore. So yeah, I'd recommend it. I really would. So guys, have you used this asset? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are if you've used that asset. And if you've got an asset yourself on the asset store, whether it's free or paid, let me know in the comments, hook me up with it and I'll take a look. So yeah, don't forget, subscribe, bell icon, stay up to date with all the game development stuff I have on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.